Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doo 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 doo. Subscribe. So October may be over, but I wanted to get one more day dedicated to the Halloween Advent calendar. Pulling a movie title out of each pocket from the Advent calendar as October moves forward has been a tradition for me and my wife for a while now. Uh, but something that I've never done is at the end of it, I've never ranked every single movie that we watched. So I gathered up all of the films and I think I'm going to try and rank them here in this video. I haven't planned out the way I'm going to rank them at all. I'm just going to look at the list of movies and then try and do that. And if you'd like to rank them in the comments below, please feel free to do that as well. I have a list of all the films that we watched in the order that we watched them uh, in the description below. So let's get to ranking these movies. Okay, so here are all of the movies in the order in which we watch them. Leviathan, Ghostbusters Afterlife, Firestarter, uh, the original one, Candyman, Maggie, the Devil's Advocate, Hellraiser, the new one from 2022, from this year, Predator, Jennifer's Body, The Sixth Sense, Prey, Things Heard and Seen, Disturbing Behavior, Halloween Ends, Vacancy, Men, Poltergeist, the original, Arachnophobia, X, Practical Magic, Watcher, that was a movie that came out in 2022, I know there's a lot of things called The Watcher or Watcher, this is the one from 2022, uh, Scream 5, Tremors, The Editor, Nope, Black Phone, The Faculty, Urban Legend, Us, The Omega Man, and Manhunter. Now, I gotta figure out how to rank all of these movies. Let's give it a shot. So let's start with some of the ones I definitely disliked. Uh, that have no nostalgia factor. So Firestarter, that's definitely one. Um, let's go with Things Heard and Seen. Let's see. Watcher was... I don't know. I didn't dislike it. Um, Manhunter I didn't think was that great. Mega Man had its charm. Okay, I think that's where we're at for ones I didn't like. Okay, so those will definitely go on the bottom. Now I think we'll go for some mid movies that have no nostalgia factor. So that would be maybe the new Hellraiser. Um, let's see. Maybe X, then Watcher, um, Editor was pretty funny, let's see, maybe Nope, mm, okay, yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's where we're at. All right, now I think we're going to look for movies. No Nostalgia Factor, a little bit above mid. So I think we got Maggie. Then, um, Jennifer's Body is above mid. And I don't think I have too much nostalgia for it. Um... Men, let's see, um, Halloween Ends, maybe? I kind of, I don't, I liked that, I don't know, I might keep, I might hold that one. Let's see, Editor was funny, that was good, Black Phone, that was good. Faculty, let's see, that's kind of nostalgic. Urban Legend is kind of nostalgic. Just for the era, even though I haven't seen Urban Legend, that was the first time watch. Us, there we go. Omega Man, I might put that in here also. It's not, it's not a good movie, but I liked, I just liked the aesthetic of it. So, yeah, maybe I think that's a good list right there. 
Okay, next we're gonna do Nostalgia Factor, but maybe there was some disappointment there, or Nostalgia Factor, but um, it's just a little limited, not extreme. So Leviathan had strong nostalgia, but on this rewatch, it was disappointing. So we're gonna move that to the side. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go you know disturbing behavior has a nostalgia from the era but it was a first time watch um, maybe arachnophobia disappointed me a little bit but I loved it as a kid um, scream 5 you know nostalgic because it's from the franchise it's from but this specific film I don't have a strong connection to because it's I've only seen it once. Faculty, um, just, you know, I grew up and realized it's kind of silly and dumb, but still a lot of fun. Urban Legend, um, this is more nostalgia for the era. Okay, let's go with those and see how we rank them. So now we're getting to where I have strong nostalgia and I think the movie is good or... I haven't seen it and I just, or I I've saw it as a first time watch and just really like the movie. So that's where we're at now. Okay. That's kind of the rest of these actually. Yeah. From Tremors, Practical Magic, and up to Ghostbusters Afterlife. So let's, let's rank those and see how the top uh, fares, these films here. Okay. So what I've done so far is I've taken the movies and then put them into the groups and then rank them within those groups. And um, now we're gonna take a look at what I've done there and then do some final adjustments. So this is where I'm at now before the final adjustments have been made. Just gonna go really quick here, show where I'm at before I make final adjustments, but this is where I'm at currently. All right, I've made some final adjustments and I think I've got it where I want it. Obviously, this is just for today, this this ranking. I'm sure an hour from now I'll have some regrets. Tomorrow it would look completely different, maybe in the middle. Uh, but the top and the end, I'm feeling pretty confident in, especially like the end caps. The end caps I'm, I'm very confident with. Um, but yeah, let, let me show you what I got. This is my ranking. We start off with Things Seen and Heard, Very Forgettable, Firestarter, that one kind of just, um, I don't know, I, I thought it was long, boring, and not good until the very, very end. Watcher, Forgettable, Manhunter was just disappointing, had some high hopes for it, but uh, ultimately didn't care too much for it. Maggie, I liked, but very slow, too slow to ever want to watch again. Uh, X was good, but I don't know, I don't, it, I'm kind of over it I guess already. Hellraiser not as good as the original because again this was the 2022 version. Urban Legend while I love the era it's like totally like when I was in high school and stuff um, it just uh, I don't know didn't hold up after that watch. Nope is good but I feel like I don't know it's maybe a little too cryptic. Uh, the editor I don't know about the style of film that it is paying homage to but I did like it. Um, but it's like so uh, in involved in whatever it's trying to do, it's kind of hard to w think about watching again. I would like to watch the real movies that uh, the editor is based off of. Black Phone is good. Actually, looking at this right now, I feel like it should be a little bit higher, but this is where I have it. Men, uh, I really like a lot of the grotesque imagery in it, and it's fun talking to people in the comments about it. Uh, us... Uh, I the music in it is great, the visuals, um, the the acting by Lapita is fantastic. Vacancy, that's just like a really good like thriller movie. And the cinematography really stood out to me. Uh, Jennifer's Body, I just, I don't know, I, I, I like Megan Fox. The Omega Man, it's sort of the 70s aesthetic for me that I find enjoyable. And then, where are we at? Uh, Arachnophobia did disappoint me a little bit, but, you know, I still have some strong nostalgia for it, so therefore it raises a little higher, especially because of John Goodman. Disturbing Behavior, um, I, I kind of like this one, and it, 
it's, you know, the era again. This is like when I was in high school or junior high, somewhere around there. So I really like that. Scream 5 I thought was good. Um, a nice entry into the franchise, even though um, there were some moments that uh, I didn't like love. I still like the movie. Halloween Ends, I like that they completely went against expectations. I thought that was a bold thing to do. Leviathan, still have a lot of nostalgia for it, but the end is so uh, bad. <laughs> I feel Ernie Hudson. Why did they Why did they treat him like that? Um, and then the faculty again. The the era really does great things for this movie. And you know, I, I realize it's not that good, but I just remember when this was coming out. Like the marketing campaign was huge. I just have a lot of nostalgia for this time period. Prey, that was a first time watch, but I just thought it was great and I like, um, you know, I, I, I think it's a good addition to the franchise. Devil's Advocate, I, I love Keanu. Uh, Ghostbusters, um, you know, I thought this one was going to be a little bit higher, but it, you know, I, I guess I, I have like issues with it. They're all things I can sweep under the rug, but I do have issues with it. Uh, Tremors was such a fun watch. I couldn't believe how like much fun it was it was so this one I guess exceeded my expectations because uh, I hadn't seen it since I was a very little kid and I just thought it was great Candyman this was the second time watch I still think it's a fantastic horror film and uh, watching it last year it became one of my favorites and it still holds up Poltergeist the original just a lot of um, nostalgia for that one growing up with it Predator, same thing. It's just fantastic. Very macho, very fun. Practical Magic. I just have a lot of, you know, I, I love love Sandra Bullock, and um, I just have a lot of great memories of watching this with my wife. So this one just like pops up pretty, pretty high. And then Sixth Sense, I just think is a masterpiece by M. Night Shyamalan. I think it's uh, one of the greatest films of 99, and just a great ghost movie and the best of this list. This is a movie that we put in our calendar, I think, every year since we started it, and it uh, will probably always be in our calendar. So there we go. Whoops. There we go. From things heard and seen all the way to the sixth sense. That's my ranking. And while that is my ranking, I'm curious how you would rank those movies if you've seen them or just the ones that you have seen, or if you just want to talk about any of them, feel free to do so in the comments below. I'd love to jump in and talk these movies a little bit more. And uh, yeah, I hope everybody had an amazing Halloween. I know I did. It was a lot of fun. Watching these movies was pretty tough, though. Balancing parenting, work, and these movies, it gets harder and harder every year. Uh, but I, it's still a lot of fun. I hope it's a tradition that we can keep doing this advent calendar. Um, it's, uh, it's, I, don't, I think it's, I, don't, I, I really like it. It's a fun, fun tradition for us. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching, and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.